Uh, I'm Kevin Purdy, uh, CEO of All Star Liveaboards, uh, here in the Red Sea to announce our newest liveaboard, Scuba Scene. Scuba Scene is a big boat. She's 43 meters long, uh, 9 meters wide, and she's four different levels, four different decks. Comparing Scuba Scene and what we offer on Scuba Scene with other liveaboards, um, well, we love the boat. We I think she's beautiful, she's very nicely laid out, she's very, very stable, the safety standards are top-notch. The dive deck, you don't even know what to do with that much space. The camera facilities here on Scuba Scene are truly amazing. Everyone has plenty of space for uh, charging their equipment, lots of space to set up your gear. The boat is built to be seaworthy. Uh, when she was built, she was a C-class boat, so she had all the required features of an international cruiser. The engines are two powerful 1,400 horsepower each, four different generators to give an option or a possibility of alternating and managing issues. Above all of this, and plus it, She's got the comfort from the inside. So the cabins are very spacious and comfortable. At the bottom or the lowest level, she's got eight cabins that can accommodate 16 guests. On the mid level, we have four suites that can accommodate eight guests. And on the top or the sun deck, we have two cabins that can accommodate four guests. You know, it's just an incredibly spacious vessel large cabins, tons of storage, everything you would want. The crew that we brought in new was pretty much uh, the two chefs that we have. And yeah, now we just have to try to hold on to them with everything we have because they're awesome. We've worked for so long in the field of, you know, liverboards and we've seen the importance of food. And our chef takes a lot of pride in that, even in his presentations and the way he serves his food, uh, I think it's quite special. Any guests on board uh, Scuba Scene that uh, may have special dietary requests, restrictions, allergies, chefs are able to accommodate all of it. The food is amazing. I mean, every day, after every dive, we would walk into the salon and there would be like a, a gourmet banquet spread fruit platters to this, the presentation of the food itself, not just the delicious flavors. And there was local Egyptian food that was, you know, served just for us so we can have that cultural experience even while aboard the boat and not on land. That was really cool. The, the cook, uh, Hani, just did an unbelievable job. We had like a full lamb last night. That was amazing. That, that took him five hours to cook, and he just big smile the whole time. The cooks in the kitchen and the pastry chef that are on board are phenomenal. When I tell you that I didn't think that the food could get any better after our coursed meal, then you got to dessert, and then it was like, you're, you know, your mind is blown all over again. It can, the Red Sea consistently delivers. There is always great stuff to see. Doesn't matter what time of year you come, there's always fantastic pelagic life, lovely reefs, pristine sea conditions. This is my 31st trip to Egypt diving. Um, I'm a very lucky person, I know that. I've also dived all over the world in Asia and the Caribbean and in Australasia. It's Egypt, Red Sea that keeps bringing me back. The reefs that you see in the Southern Red Sea are stunning. I mean, we would roll off the boat into the blue and I was hit in the face with this beautiful reef covered in hard and soft corals. There were fish everywhere darting in and out of the coral heads. There was always something to see. And within five minutes of the dive, seeing a thresher shark just pass right over us into the blue. And seeing that for the first time, that species, was really unique and something that I will never forget. Yesterday, I came, I, I consulted an oceanic white tip for the first time. Now, I did tell everybody here, I was nervous about that. So for the first few dives during the week, my air was gone in 20 minutes, because I thought I was going to get bitten by a bloody shark. But uh, 
No, it was just amazing. That yesterday, two, two oceanic white tips come by, and I actually managed to video it. Seven different shark species, and you know, very different shark species. We've had some pelagics, we've had some reef sharks. There's a dive where a hammer hung out with us for quite a while. He started, you know, it sort of looked sideways with its, you know, hammer head, and it was like staring up at us for a bit. I had to describe my experience here on Scuba Scene in one word. It would be incredible. <laughs> like, it's brilliant. It would be awesome. Bucket list ticked again. Top notch. Scuba Scene is fabulous. It's just, it's, I, I don't know what to say. I'm lost in words. Once you come aboard uh, Scuba Scene, you're immediately a member of the boat family and everyone makes you so welcome. The, the one thing for me, the memory for me, is obviously the people I met on board, you know? And that comes through everything. Like, I'm not saying the next level board could be better or worse, but from my experience, everybody gelled. You know, they nail it, and everybody, like, friends for life, and surely that's what it's all about.